We've all heard of Freemasonry and the supposedly hidden agenda its members have to achieve global domination through a new world order, but how many of us really know anything substantial about the subject? I'm Mike with List25, and from memberships to symbols, here are 25 curious facts about Freemasonry. Twenty-five. Freemasonry exists in various forms all over the world, with a membership estimated at around 5 million, including approximately 480,000 in Great Britain and over 2 million in the United States. 24. Contrary to popular belief, the Freemasons are not a secret society. A Mason can freely tell people that they are a Mason. They just can't reveal the secrets of the order. 23. The conventional establishment of Freemasonry is usually dated to 1717, when the Grand Lodge of London emerged on June 24th. The emergence of this Grand Lodge marked the beginning of Grand Lodges governing other lodges. 22. Freemasonry employs the tools and instruments of stonemasonry to teach a system of morality, friendship, and brotherly love, hence the standard emblem of Freemasonry is the square and compasses. 21. Masonic symbols are usually regarded as existing because of the fraternity's secrecy. However, in reality, Freemasonry started being illustrated by symbols because at the very beginning, most Freemasons couldn't read, so the symbols served to remind members of the fraternity's teachings. 20. The oldest Masonic symbol is the square and compasses. It's also the most universally recognized symbol of Freemasonry, though its exact significance varies from country to country. 19. A Masonic Lodge refers to the congregation of people who meet there. It's not just the name of a building. Each lodge gets a charter from a Grand Lodge, but they basically run themselves. There's no overarching ritual for running a meeting. It varies with each individual group. 18. It's impossible to become a Freemason if you're an atheist. The first requirement is that potential members must believe in a higher power of some kind. 17. There are two known branches of Freemasonry. The regular, guided by the United Grand Lodge of England, and the liberal, represented by the Grand Orient of France. 16. Masons traditionally recognize each other by various secret signs, including wearing a ring with a Masonic emblem, various lapel badges, and sometimes the famous Freemason handshake, when shaking hands the thumb briefly strokes the other man's hand in a certain way though the last is mostly restricted to Freemasons in San Francisco and Washington, D.C. 15. Anders Breivik, perpetrator of the 2011 mass murders in Norway, was a practicing Freemason. 14. Freemasons are commanded not to testify truthfully when another Mason is on trial. They admit that it may be perjury, but to them, it's a far greater sin to not protect one of their own. 13. Freemasonry has no single spokesman. It's comprised of many individuals in numerous organizations, all of which are subordinate to the Grand Lodge in their area. None of these members or organizations can speak for Freemasonry. That's the responsibility of each Grand Lodge in the area. 12. In case you didn't know, there's a direct Masonic link to the Statue of Liberty. Friedrich Bartholdi, the man who designed the famous statue, was a Mason. 11. The secret handshakes and passwords now associated with Freemasonry were used by the stonemasons to identify each other, which was important for keeping secrets in the guild. 10. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin was a member of Clear Lake Lodge number 1417 in Texas. He was also the lunar module pilot on Apollo 11, the first manned lunar landing in history. When he stepped on the moon, he had with him a special deputation from his grandmaster to claim the moon as being in the territorial jurisdiction of the Grand Lodge of Texas. John Glenn was also a Mason. 9. Catherine Babington wanted to know what Freemasonry was all about, so she hid inside a pulpit at meetings in Kentucky for over a year. When discovered, she was held captive for a month. 8. Some of the most famous Freemasons include Charles Darwin, Mark Twain, Winston Churchill, J. Edgar Hoover, Benjamin Franklin, and the first president and founding father of our country, George Washington. 7. Conspiracies link Freemasons to the Illuminati. 
However, this seems unlikely, because the Illuminati are an entirely secret society, to the extent that most people don't believe they exist today, while people are entirely free to divulge that they are a member of a Freemason Lodge. 6. Hitler believed that the Masons were a tool of the Jews, and under the Nazi regime, it's estimated that between 80 and 200,000 Freemasons were murdered. 5. In the type of Freemasonry practiced in the United States, female members are not allowed, whereas in the type practiced in Europe, women are generally allowed to be initiated. 4. Sun worshipping is the core of Freemasonry, and probably many other secret societies. 3. In the type of Freemasonry practiced in the US, members are required to believe in God, though the interpretation of this is left up to the individual member. 2. At the time it was built in 1892, the Masonic Temple in Chicago, Illinois was the world's tallest building. It was 22 stories high. 1. During the American Civil War, enemy soldiers who recognized each other as Freemasons helped each other and saved each other's lives. Even during war, these Freemasons' loyalty to the craft did not fade. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.